Oh yeah, Hudding attachments are starting to release. Let's go! What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to new mods for Farming Simulator 19. Today we got 15 mods for you for all platforms. We've got three new and eight updates. And for PC and Mac, we've got three new and one update. Let's check it out. First up today, we have the NMC Ripper. The NMC Ripper is a single tooth ripper built to work with the Hudding 1260E. In real life, this would be used to rip up the ground and things like that, but in game, it is used as a plow, so it can plow the ground, which is very nice. Price super cheap, 800 bucks, and it is going to weigh about 129 kilograms, they've said. Great seeing the weight in there. I know a lot of you guys really like to know how much things are gonna weigh. Design color, we got a couple things going on here. So we have basic, we have black, and then we have all of our base game colors. Change that to pink, whatever you want. That's gonna be the NMC logo. Then we go over to main color. This is going to be the primary color of the Ripper itself. Hey, look, check that out right there. That doesn't look too bad, actually. So you can do whatever you want through there. I'm gonna put it back on there because I think that looks good. Um, prices, that design color, it's gonna cost you three grand. So you better watch, watch out. It's gonna go from 800 to 3,800 real quick. And that main color is going to set you back four thousand dollars depending on what you pick so this could go from 800 to 7800 real fast watch yourself regardless this is really cool to see next to last new mod for all platforms day is going to be the mechanical harrow this has a 20 horsepower requirement two meters at six miles per hour this is a power harrow at the end of the day we got two or two colors here first up design color can you choose which one you want it's going to be a whole lot of colors that's going to be your primary color right there and then your main color well, I don't see anything gray. So let's change that to pink and just see if anything. Nope, because guess what? In design from standard with cover. So there you go. Um, I actually use things like that, um, like a, a, a push version of this when I was younger on the farm. So something like this, very cool to see in here. This is going to cost you two grand. It's gonna cost you $200 for design, $300 for main color and it's going to cost 50 bucks to put that cover on there. And your last new mod for all platforms today is gonna be the Fences Pack. Don't we have enough fences already? Price is gonna be 10 bucks for each of these. Daily upkeep is gonna be $3 per day. You get a triple version, a double, a single, as well as a corner and a post. Making our way into mod updates for all platforms. First up, we have Mini Brew. This is gonna be changelog 2.4. Point one, we're already there. Mud script has been updated, so it fixes the errors with the sinking tires. Added two new ground textures, cobblestone, and fixed the textures distortion at the crossroads, and they've completely recreated the PDA map. Very good update. We've got an update to Ishia Farm. Changelog 1.1.1. This is going to be add the missing sell price for sorghum and protein peas. And we've got an update to the John Deere 959M Tract Feller Buncher. This is going to be Changelog 2. Says, please sell the old machine before updating this vehicle. Preferably start a new game save as well. I'm going to show you guys how to do that in just a moment. We've got model changes. Model's gotten a total makeover here. We've also got added hoses. Doors will now open when entering the machine. New displays, new textures, new XML file, new icons, new interior, new decals. They removed the auto leveling, so the manual leveling has been added instead. They've added the 953M version, standard body, no leveling, which you can find right here and they've added custom engine sounds north money company have said if you're going to be updating you need to go and delete the old version so we're going to make sure that we have done exactly that you can see here it says there's an update to it now here's the interesting thing let's go through i don't think we're going to find anywhere mh nope that's not it it looks like it's showing up as an update but it's actually a brand new tractor, a brand new piece of equipment. So let's do this. What I'm gonna do is we are going to take this bad boy right here. I'm going to uninstall it, just like so. Then I'm going to install it, just like that. That way now we have reset everything so the game thinks, okay, I've got a brand new mod installed. It was deleted, now it has been reinstalled, and it is good to go. That is how you want to update this. Don't update, delete it and then re-update, upload, download the things. Yep, we've got an update to the Fent 512 516 Vario S4 Changelog 1.2. Mod description version increased to 51. 
model flaws on fender frame and bonnet have been fixed, revise the profile and power terminal, interior lighting revised, and revise the indoor camera. And an update to buildings in the Polish style. Change log 1.001, bells can now be used for bedding. Great update for that. An update to silage silos. Change log 1.1, the appearance has been improved and large silo has been added. Next to last mod update for all platforms today is going to be Caesars Geo Central Europe Simplified. Changelog 1.4 added support for the fruits from Maze Plus Forge extension, including the horse extension, and fixed the Icarus grass regrowth state. And your last mod update for all platforms today is going to be Caesars Geo USA Simplified. Version 1.3, pretty much exactly the same added support for the fruits of the Maze Plus Forge extension, including horse extension, and fixed the Icarus grass regrowth state yep not uh not what i wanted to see at all when you pop up a new map global company required this will be fun let's do it <laughs> nothing against the map i don't use global company this is dalton valley farm oh man we are here we are here and we are here there is a whole lot going on on this map so let's pull out back real quick let's pull everything up so we can talk about this a little bit this is a fictional map model with inspiration from areas around the uk and the map creator wanted to create a map that felt familiar yet different and hope that it feels that way all proceeds from this map will be going to doctors without borders that is very cool um reiterate the point of you need global company to work with this me no likey that whatsoever what do you get uh well you see the pda right here what do you get when you start a new farmer not a whole lot why because well you need global company and you need to do all that good stuff so what do you get when you start at least here you can see we get the massey 56 we get the case puma the massey activa you also get a pickup you get a trailer header plow uh you get a cultivator cedar front you also get a planter with the front as well fertilizer with the front 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 and then, i mean you guys can see you get all kinds of stuff plenty to start with through there so that is really cool um obviously because i do not use global company i'm not going to be able to show you this in full there's quite a few youtubers out there that have done a fantastic job showing this map off and i highly recommend that you guys check those guys out next two mod for pc and mac players day is gonna be crazy i don't know how to say that it's letters yep uh welcome to that map small town located in poland of course it's in poland the area of the map is varied and rich of forests roads uh ravines and fields the area has uh, been moved around a bit in the virtual world map itself contains 64 fields with so many meadows 85 farmlands total new lighting altered soil texture new hay and straw beam textures also our bell textures rather five playable farms cows pigs chicken sheep and horses three plots for the construction of your very own farm if you don't like those they do have a bga very terrain lots of forest ambient sounds additional crops including alfalfa clover field grass onions and carrots maize plus ready seasons ready and a pleasant climate they wish us a very nice game you're also going to need quite a few mods to go with this as well you can easily download those from the giants website if you guys are playing on pc i'm sure that you are very familiar with that website by now so go check those out here is your pda very cool stuff right here in new farmer we do get field number one we get nine we get five we also get 26 and down here g4 now this is going to be sheep with a silo so we do get a, a, a silo right there we also get pigs and we get cows i believe let's see is that another silo another farm silo hayloft okay good to know there and then we get right here as well anything to the north oh yeah and field five of course it's just a field right here this is where your house is going to be a lime station another farm silo and chicken so you do start off with quite a bit if we go over and check out the most expensive uh field let's see 300 free around the map so if you guys are ready to do some logging it's pretty much free to do that that it's pretty nice. That is really, really cool there. As far as starting equipment, what do you get? You get the Massey 56. You get a New Holland T5. Fent Favorite 511. You also get a John Deere 6R. Very important there. That's a good tractor to start with. Let's get the FMZ Bison. You get a uh, couple tippers. Actually, quite a few tippers. Header, plow, cultivator. You get another cultivator. Spreader. You also get a mower, a collector, or yeah, loading wagon, rather. You also get four water, front loader tools, and then you have your um, your stuff right here. So you have your large sheep pasture, horse paddock, cow's barn, small pig sty, chicken coop, silo, 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 hayloft, bunker silo, 
all kinds of stuff here. Can you, you get enough of that? There you go. So very cool there. Very good looking stuff. Great looking map. Your last new mod for PC and Mac Players Day is the thing that I'm most excited about. Welcome to Charwell Farming Agency Edition. This is a fictional map in the middle of England. The map was kindly given to Farming Agency by Lancy Boy, the original creator, to be reworked by Farming Agency, complete with features, a maze plus, forge extension, CCM extension, and horse extension. This map also serves as a sample map for Maze Plus and extensions and is also the first map which is releasing for horse extension ready. No further script or mod is necessary for the horse extension. There are also a few other new features as well on this map. Smiley face, I see you over there, Alien Paul. Additions to the version amongst others are alfalfa, clover, horse grass, field grass, meadow grass, miscanthus, triticale, rye, spelt, onions, carrots, grass silage, maize silage, clover silage, alfalfa silage, horse hay, horse silage, whole crop silage, also in bales and forage wagons. Grass, alfalfa, and clover will all have four drying stages now, so you need at least three teddings to get them to a full hay with and without seasons regardless of what you do also fruit destruction 2.0 is going to extend the realistic fruit destruction we'll be taking a look at that over the weekend feeding system has been reworked change the horse husbandries added manure and straw change the sheep husbandries added manure and straw change the chicken husbandries added manure and straw height limit increased to 128 ccm bin silo thanks to farmer and shruby for the fill type mover script and I'm out of room. I'm going <laughs> to move my script down. <laughs> wow. Uh, well, let's see what else. Also, the economy selling prices yield has been reworked and rebranded according to realism and logic. Oh, boy. Hashtag realism. Do I have a button for that? Hashtag realism. Let's go. All farmlands have been redone. Manure system ready. Seasons ready. Straw harvest ready. The map and the English models were made by Lancy Boy Custom Ground Textures. Melfoy realistically scaled. Goodness gracious. Here it is. It doesn't look any different, does it? Eh, not quite. However, it is very, very, very different. Hope you got 99 bajillion dollars because you're going to need that to buy the outside of the map even though you can't get out there. Um, here we have new field types. Check this out. So before with this map, every single field had to be purchased in groups. With this, everything is purchased individually now. Very, very cool. You can see it's a little bit jittery once you click on it. I'm not sure why that is. Um, however, I will say that this is a beast, a beast of a uh, of a map. You are really, 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 holy cow. <laughs> Get ready, baby. Get ready. Um, I am planning on doing some stuff with this map, so hang tight. I think I'm going to go back to my old Charwell design and maybe pick up right where we left off. As far as what we've got going on, um, there's, there's a bit. Yeah, there's a bit in New Farmer. So we have the New Holland T5 Fast Track 4220, New Holland T6 175. You also get the New Holland TX32. You see a uh, theme here, New Holland. You also get a Kramer. You get a pickup. You get a tipper, another tipper, another tipper, header. We get a, uh, what is that, for sugar beets? Yeah, for sugar beets, front and rear there. You've also got a cultivator, subsoiler, seeder, sprayer, spreader, manure spreader, mower, tether, or a windrower, rather, baler. You get a bell collector, bell wrapper. You get a uh, animal thrower thing, straw blower, sorry, water, front lifter with quite a few different things you've also got the uh sawyer 2400 and 1600 horse extension paddock which is in-game base you also get a large grain silo with extensions seed tanks and a water station you think that's enough we got we got a few things homes we got a few things oh i'm super excited to get in here and start playing on this map i'm so excited i can't wait and your one mod update for pc and mac players day is going to be meadow grove this is a huge it's pretty much a brand new map change log 1.1 new pig farm layout extended the main farm the cow farm you can see that's right in front of us right here new sheep yard added more details sheep and horses now produce more manure so sheep do it through their trough as he couldn't figure out how you want to do it. Sheep are now able to be fed sugar beet or potatoes as well. Cows now accept wheat or barley. Hose mod for the cows farm and the pig farm. So that's going to be the manure system mod. Second cow pen at the cow farm. New silage pit at cow farm. Straw add-on and shed added down at the placeable area. Is now bought when buying the BGA. Seasons ready. 
Alfalfa and rye added new equipment when starting off. More fields added to the start. Farmhouses attached to the forest. Some field devs have been redone, so check that out. New grass texture, thanks to Oxygen David. New lighting, also thanks to Oxygen David as well. Various fixes, some new sheds made by Nathan himself, and a new PDA, some other changes that he forgot as well. Um, I don't think anywhere it says that you need a new game save, but you should probably have a new game save for this. This is a new map completely this this is nothing nothing like i like i barely recognize everything now and that's nothing short of a good thing that's a great thing i love it man this is awesome um so let's take a look at the pda we're gonna treat this like a brand new map what do we get when we start we get a whole lot out here i'm gonna sell this outside area real quick so you can see what you get you get a bunch of stuff starting off so in here you get field 10 11 and 12 you also get your main forest area right here, which is going to be uh, right beside field 19 and field 24, 18 to 17, obviously together. As always, you get your cow pen right here, two cow pens, as a matter of fact, field 20, 21, 38, 41, 66, 67, and 68. All of that is a good thing. Boom. That's awesome. That is incredible. As far as starting vehicles, what do we get now? So we have the Massey 56, Fiat 1300. The Styr Pro 5 CVT 4115, Bison Super Z056. You also get your pickup 1978. You get a couple tippers, header, cultivator. We get a power harrow. I believe that's what that is. Yeah, power harrow. We also get a cedar, sprayer, mower, windrow, baler. We get a straw blower. We also get water, a couple of front loader implements, bell spike, which is cool. Don't see that very often. And then you get pallet forks through here as well as the um, Warzy. Uh, okay, yep. Nope. I see why both these are together because those go together. Don't see those very often. That's pretty cool. As well as that fertilizer tanks, herbicide tanks. Also, if you guys don't know, in the last update, we're now able to sell these again, which is very, very cool. You also get a large sheep pasture doghouse. Pallet. Oh, it's really nice having that in there. And then all of this. So very cool. Awesome update. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be doing anything on camera. But I definitely plan on starting either this or Charwell off screen. I think I'm going to start this off screen. I think this will be a whole lot of fun. And I'll update you guys every once in a while on how the uh, gameplay process is going. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like on the video. Get subscribed to the channel if you're new. Join the GoHam fam. And make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. If you are a channel member, stay tuned because we're going to be live streaming part three of four of the PC build later on today. So stay tuned for that. If you guys want to join the GoHam fam, links down in the description below. But otherwise... Hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Peace.